Both Photoshop and Krita are high-quality applications for digital painting, photo editing, or designing. If you are new to these programs, it can be difficult to understand how they work because of the underlying grid system that both use, or in other words, the raster technology. The two software are very similar, but they also have certain features that set them apart. We'll help you decide which one is right for you by comparing them head to head. But first, what is Krita? Krita is the perfect program for any animator or painter looking to create their next masterpiece. Whether you're an experienced pro or just getting started, Krita has everything that will help you take your skills up a notch. It offers an intuitive interface that makes it easy to take care of all of your needs. The application has everything, from painting and graphics editing to photography workflows, like HDR photo manipulation or raw conversion. With it, you can enjoy painting with various complex capabilities. Krita is quite intriguing, isn't it? Now, let's take a look at what Photoshop is and what it can do for us. Photoshop is the best-known graphics software. You've probably come across this app at some point in your life, whether on a friend's phone or an advertisement for what seems like forever. It allows you to edit images by adding layers and modifications, which makes it so much more fun than just looking through photos without anything changing them. Graphic designers that are always on the go will appreciate the convenience of working from anywhere with Creative Cloud. Interface and Learning Curve the user-friendly interface of Krita allows you quick access and study of features without feeling overwhelmed or intimidated by other more advanced software like Photoshop, which can sometimes have too many bells and whistles, though this may be an advantage if your goal is something specific. So beginners might prefer Krita as its simpler interface makes learning easy, with little frustration or confusion about how things work. Krita contains many key buttons that allow you to perform various artistic techniques. The tool panel location may be different than Photoshop. We have seen the flexibility of Photoshop's window placement, and we're impressed by how we can arrange our customized workspaces. Over-personalization, on the other hand, might be daunting for new users who tend to dismiss tabs unintentionally. Compatibility in comparison, Adobe Photoshop runs on iOS, Android, and Windows, whereas Krita has Linux as a plus. The old versions of Krita are available, unlike Photoshop. Adobe is kind of limited in terms of which versions you can use. At this point, you might be asking yourself, can I open Krita files with Photoshop? Well, yes, and you won't have to deal with too many compatibility problems. The software also supports saving in PSD format, which is necessary for some tools not supported by the majority of programs out there today. This means your work will be safe no matter where it goes. With the release of their new iPad application, Adobe has finally made it possible for users to work on iPads. This means you can now use your favorite graphics program like Photoshop in any environment. Tools and Features Krita is a popular application for artists of all kinds. One thing that it does well to help you with creating your artwork can be seen in its unlimited canvas feature, which provides ample space on your computer screen so you don't have any limits or borders when working in Krita. It's a high-quality painting program that has an AI assistant built in. This tool supports CMYK color schemes, as well as RGB and HDR capabilities for your artwork. You can also use their integrated drawing aid anytime you need help with your graphics or designs on the fly. It's always there when needed most, with every image file type imaginable, including PSD. Krita is a fantastic app for artists. This brush library offers the users many options, depending on what they need or want to create with their work. It has big custom brushes available as well. Additionally, while using this awesome tool, your size and thickness can vary depending upon preference. If you don't find one perfect enough in Krita's standard set, then there are plenty of other high-quality sets available through plugins that will surely meet all demands, making sure every single project goes smoothly and quickly into completion time after sweetheart deadline without any problems whatsoever. Krita is the perfect tool to quickly create digital paintings. It was created by a worldwide group of enthusiasts who want everyone in this world to be able to paint with their own two hands. It supports OpenGL among other things, so if you use it with Krita, its performance can be increased. The image will zoom, mirror, rotate, and pan rapidly as a result. 
Finally, as the program is open source, the community support is immense and the program is constantly being adjusted by many users. You can also access useful extensions and updates. Photoshop, on the other hand, stands the comparison pretty well. The three smart stroke smoothing modes include a stroke catch-up mode. In this setting, the program catches upon where your cursor is when you pause while painting to avoid any mistakes from happening and make sure everything looks perfect. Photoshop has a new option to make your line structure more organic. The pulled string lets you adjust the stroke direction with an easy-to-use slider, so it feels less like drawing and more like painting. Adobe Photoshop includes a variety of options to shield certain areas in photographs. For example, you can modify temperature, contrast, and exposure, as well as shadows with just one click. The colors that make up your image are also easily editable, thanks to this tool's controls for color masking range, meaning it won't be too difficult when moving on to post-production later down the line. Thus, when making local alterations, changes are made only on the light or dark portions of the images, and not the nearby regions. Adobe Photoshop allows you to access Lightroom photos from its start screen. It uploads existing cloud-specific photographs directly back into Adobe Lightroom after editing, without having to download them all over again. Adobe Stock has a huge library of stock photos that you can use when creating your own content, illustrations, or anything else. You get access to it all without paying an extra fee, and there's no need for subscriptions either. Designing complicated characters is easy with Photoshop's tools, pen, and shapes. With the option to curve or straighten lines, you can create both vector shapes that are known as vector graphics in one layer, or use more than just add. You will also be able to adjust forms by intersecting them at points, while subtracted from each other if needed. The software has been tailored to take advantage of all available hardware, in order that professionals can paint on anything, from a phone case up through large mural paintings, without sacrificing their creativity or skills, as they work with more advanced tools such as layers and masks, while still keeping accessibility features like undo or redo, so you don't have a breakout into hives when things go wrong. Pricing you can only obtain Photoshop through a subscription that will cost you around $20 per month. While Krita is free, Krita is a great choice for those who want to create professional-looking artwork without paying an arm and leg. Photoshop, on the other hand, will cost you, but with all of its features, it may be worth every penny. So, at the end, are we ready for a final verdict? Krita or Photoshop? Krita is perfect for digital drawing, but Photoshop has been known as the king of graphic design and photo editing for ages. What is the best tool? Obviously, Photoshop. For those who work with Adobe Photoshop, this software is a must-have. With its sky placement features, you can manage many complex tasks that Krita just isn't able to do on its own. If you're not fond of Photoshop or if you're on a budget, Krita is a great tool for you. However, we recommend using it alongside industry standard software. We hope you found this video useful and informative. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.